been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. Doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Well, we can't really see because she has a hood on and Snake's too fucking old. Get your hands off me. You're the commander of this O-1 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Tad it up. Sleeping giant is Jonathan. Exclamation Mohawk. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. Finally, the shit monster Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. Need some Pepto quickly. <laughs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Well, didn't they or on say that Snake, Snake was like a bad then, guy after me. the first one or something like that? I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. <laughs> so, what are you here for? Let's get some candy. Told you it's candy land. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. And to get their candy. More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines Nanos. injected into their bodies for that. I remember purpose. those. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time More data twenty-four hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send PMCs. You've got these system nano machines and you Pussy too. management control. <laughs> Our unit plays by the rules, the same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nano machines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. 
They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. I don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, I like the music, sure though. No one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, They'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. Unless they have Jerebi. And the Patriots are behind this. Lali Lu Lei Lo. What are you talking about? I love that. Lali Lu Lei Lo. Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. When the no first one third party could get control of it. The in. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsoc heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. <sighs> Conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. You're acting like an the asshole right now with all these damn cutscenes. The That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught, we'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. <laughs> when we reported that we'd found liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Kim. Yep. Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you gotta be kidding. You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. Mm. Bitch fit. Yes, he is. 